Hey guys. So I'm out in the veggie patch again today, which is so exciting. Uh, we've got 300 square meters of patch to work on and to get ready for spring planting. Now, as you might recall, the excavators came in, they dug all the crap out, they replaced it with topsoil. Um, topsoil is not so nutritious. So I'm working on getting it ready for the spring planting by adding nutrition and adding goodness back into the soil. Now, ideally you'd come along and dump a whole heap of animal manures and composts and things like that in and turn it into the soil. But 300 square meters is a huge space and I would need so much of that that it's just not really practical to do a broad spread application. So what I've been doing is I've been thinking about the different ways that I can add that value and nutrition back into the soil. And I've got a couple of really great ideas um, that I'm starting to work on. But the one that I want to show you today is worm farms. Now I already have a worm farm growing uh, over there. <laughs> um, and I'm onto the second layer of that, which is really cool. But that is not going to produce anywhere near enough worm castings and worm tea um, to deal with this space. And one of the things that you really want to find in your garden is worms. So I thought to myself, in ground worm farms. <laughs> now you can buy these um, from Bunnings or Mudatan or anywhere like that. You can buy the pre-done in ground worm farms, but I thought that, you know, I may as well make one. So let me show you one that I've already got in the ground and then I will show you how I am going to make that and put the final one in place. So I have already placed one, two, three, four, five in-ground worm farms and I'm gonna put another one over here. But I'll quickly show you what it looks like at this point. I placed these a couple of days ago, um, made just with a pot that I'm gonna show you how I made. And if we come in here and have a little dig around, um, oh, there we go. There is one of my little wormies that I put in here. Um, the idea of having the worm farm in ground is that over time, as the worms eat what's in this area here, they'll wiggle out into the soil, have fun around here, put their own worm castings in, and then come back and forth as that area fills up, like if that fully fills with worm castings, I can just dig a hole here or I can dig a hole here. And we're composting in the space, which is a really smart idea. So I decided to put six of them in. Um, I don't really know why I could have done four, I could have done eight, I could have done, you know, 20 of them, but I still have to keep feeding these worms. So I've got one more to do and I will show you um, how I went about it. Hello little wormies. Rather than buy an in-ground worm farm, I decided to make one just out of an old garden pot that I've got here. Um, the first thing we do is we take our pot, grab the drill and drill a whole heap of holes up the side. Now we do that so that the worms can travel in and out of the pot. And you know, we're gonna put the food and everything into the pot, but once they've eaten that, they might wanna travel out into the garden, which is what we want. Now worms are, you know, yay big but we need the holes to be big enough for them to travel through so i'm using my largest drill bit which is going to drill about a centimeter big hole i suppose um, but you can drill holes anywhere up to like yay big um, and that will just help the worms travel freely so let's get that done So after we've drilled all of the holes um, so that the worms can come in and out, there's no right or wrong number of holes, just make lots of them big enough for the worms. Um, I'm going to cut the bottom of the pot off. Now, this would be significantly easier if you had a jigsaw or something like that, but I don't. And secateurs work just as well, just grab an old pair. And the reason we're cutting the bottom of the pot off is because we actually want this to be open to the ground. Again, so that the worms have more chance of getting in and out. 
um, but also because as the um, things that we put into the worm farm break down, decompose, they will start to leach them out of the bottom into the soil. And that's what we want because the whole point of an in-ground worm farm is to compost in place and to add all of the good nutrients directly into the soil. That will nearly have it, I reckon. There we go. So now we have a homemade in-ground worm farm. This pot, um, you know, would have cost me a couple of bucks when I first bought it. I've had a couple of good growing seasons and now I'm turning it into a worm farm. Great uh, recycling and reuse, I reckon. done and uh, my camera had crapped itself so even though I thought I was videoing to show you all of the progress and everything I was doing uh, it's all gone anyway uh, let me quickly explain how I got the final bit set up and I'm really sorry you didn't get to see it because it's kind of cool um, so what I did was I dug a hole a hole big enough for the worm farm to sit in the pot that I've drilled the holes in I popped a bit of compost at the bottom because as I've said, every time I'm doing something in this garden, I want to add compost and nutrients to the soil. So I popped a bit of compost, uh, popped the worm farm in, settled it in and put compost all around the outside. And you can see the compost is the darker sections along here. Now I popped um, the compost around the outside, again, adding more stuff into the soil, but also I figured that as the worms start to explore out into the world, um, they would like to go through some compost before the um, dirt, dirt that came in. Um, then what I did was, um, I had the pot in here, um, it's open to the ground with the compost, I then laid in a few leaves and the leaves are just from uh, under my tree, they've um, fallen off for winter and the reason I put leaves in is because the worms will eat the decomposing materials, that's what they do in the wild. Um, I then popped some food scraps in and what I do is I just ask all of my friends and family to keep their food scraps for me and um, that's how I feed all of my worms. Pop the worms in there. I got my worms from my council. So you can actually get um, worms from Bunnings, Mudditan, all of that kind of stuff. But my council subsidizes home composting and worms is one of them. So I had a box of worms. They just come in a box, in a plastic bag, in all of their casings and bedding. Um, in the box, you've got live worms, you've got some worm eggs. So there's plenty of um, worms in there. Um, and then just another layer of leaves watered it all in because we want to keep this nice and moist so having the water in here uh, will start it to decompose pop the lid on the lid is just a um saucer a pot saucer and then a oh, brick on top the brick stops um the lid flying off and it also stops any like rodents or anything getting in there and that's it so it's really simple, it's easy. I'm just gonna get into the shade. Um, and this way, I'm gonna start in-ground composting. The worms will eventually decide to leave their space. And when that pot fills up with all the worm castings and all the goodness, all I have to do is lift it out of the ground, dig a hole somewhere else and pop it down again. So it's a really great sustainable way of putting good stuff back into the soil. So. That's me for the day. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see it. I, I swear I did film it, but um, that's technology in life, isn't it? <laughs> Bye guys. Just for your interest, this is my um, standard worm farm. So you open the lid. Um, there are worms in here. Sometimes I have to dig around a bit to find them. Um, there's one, little guy there. 
Um, but this is uh, quite well established now. I've got uh, this tray is completely full of the castings and we're working our way through this one. So as the worms sort of finish off any leftover bits in this bottom tray, they will migrate up feed on here and I've got a third tray as well the idea being that the worms will keep coming up as they're completely out of the first tray I can use those castings but uh yeah just bits of food in there for them to eat and they are happy as anything I've also got my compost bin here which seems to be doing pretty well as well excellent <laughs> bye guys <laughs>